Hey there, Amy with crazybeautiful.com. I'm going to start um, with, let's see, my black actually on the top. And I did a card like this last week. Ah, crud. Um, and I got a lot of compliments on it. So I'm just going to do a little video to kind of show you how I did it. I'm taking my Memento ink, which is kind of my black that I use now. Um, the Stampin' Up! black isn't great. I would love for it to be, but it's not right now. So we're going to use Memento. And um, you'll notice I'm kind of just rolling it from the side. And that does, I guess what I'm doing is not getting a big circle right on my page. Um, I may, like you just don't want that circle to really be noticed on here. So instead of landing right in the middle and starting to circle, I'm starting off to the side. So I'm just going to get a nice kind of even black edge. And then I'm going to move on to my next color, um, which is going to be Night of Navy. So same kind of concept. Just start from the side and blend. And when you feel like it's kind of out of ink, you can start again and re-ink it. Um, these are Stampin' Up! Daubers. They're nice and smooth little... Um, applicators so they're great for this and our whisper white cardstock is um, really great for this too it's just really smooth like butter as you're putting it on um, if you do get too much on here it'll start to ball up because the paper is just going to be getting too wet so um, you'll notice I'm kind of blending up into the black also I'm going to take my uh, Blackberry Bliss, and this is really bold, so gosh, you, I may have got it too dark already, but you can kind of see how I started it off to the side, let it get some of that really bold color off, and then you're going to try to keep blending it, and just blend it a little bit up into the sky there, and I think... I'm just going to pull it down a little bit more, and then I'm just going to do one more color, I think, with the Hello Honey. And you can kind of come back and blend more um, as desired. It's really kind of a fun technique that you can play with. I'm really turning out to be sort of the technique person, like craft-wise. And that might be, you know, part of my um, architectural background. Just really um, enjoy all the different things that you can do with the tools and the inks. Um, who knows? It's just who I am. Um, the last videos that I, uh, the videos that I did last week were for a class. So if you haven't checked that out. Um, you can go to my website, and um, the class is just $8. It's um, a Christmas card class, and you do actually learn several techniques in that class. So um, check that out, please. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of Bermuda Bay in here just to brighten up that blue. Yeah, that actually worked really well. Um, and then I think I'm going to take my, just keep playing with it till you're happy with it. I'm going to pull my navy back down a little bit. I feel like this um, blackberry just kind of took over. And it is a really deep color, um, which is great because it can, it can go a long way when you're blending colors. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with my overall background. I'm just going to touch up a couple spots that I feel are a little bit light. And I think, you know, it's okay that this is just a little bit blotchy. And I am always just hypercritical of my own work. Um, 
you can continue to sort of try to spread it and blend it. Um, but like I was saying, you know, you're, you're going to keep getting the paper wet and it might um, start bubbling up and um, just acting in a way that you don't really want. So um, I'm just going to stay with that and I'm going to let this dry and then do my heat embossing. All right, we're all uh, dry here, so I'm gonna just do a little brush with my um, embossing buddy. And I'm using the Happy Halloween from the Paper Pumpkin Kit last month. So um, if you don't have this, um, you can just use any like Halloween greeting that you would like. Stamp it in Versamark. Sorry, I can't really see if it's straight because I can't stick my head in the camera. Um, just because I have this right here, I'm gonna use a piece of paper and just sprinkle my white embossing powder. And I actually brought my heat gun over here so I could just do all of this right here on the video. So flick it off. If it's still sticking, I may not have let it dry enough. Um, you can take just like a little paintbrush, which I can't usually keep handy, but it's over by my embossing station. Um, you can take a little paintbrush and a dry paintbrush and get those um, little stragglers off. I'm going to move this to the side and turn on my gun. Let it warm up a little bit before you use it. There we go. And um, I made this cute little alligator because I thought he looked like he was a little boy in a costume. And I'm just gonna add these to my card. And I'm gonna add my little alligator, which I just think he's cute. I don't know if my kids have ever been alligators or crocodiles, whatever. I don't really know the difference, but he's cute. So there you go. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. And don't forget, sorry, don't forget to line the inside. Real quick side note. There you go. Bye.